Hello everyone, Tiger here. I'm in Chai, which is the beautiful traditional small city of Taiwan. Even though Chai is a small city, their food culture runs deep. We're gonna create two episodes here in Chai, and this episode is the first episode, and it's gonna be about Taiwanese breakfast. This is not like the typical breakfast. It's very special, it is very delicious, and I intend to share all of that with you in this video, so stick with me and let's eat. one of the most famous and well-known uh, tea shops in all of Chai. So this is the second generation of 80 years of tea making. They serve a very special sort of tea, a very traditional. It's a tea with almond milk, egg yolk and a lot of sugar and also there is a large deep fried donut bread uh, on the side. It is so enjoyable to watch him cook. It's right here on the street in the roundabout near the market. Uh, yeah, let's get this started. It's a very yellowish top here. With It's because of the eggs that makes it a little bit yellow. It looks very beautiful and the smell coming out from this thing. It's really, really nice. Very strong smell of almonds. Let's give this a nice dip dip here. Mm. Oh wow. The bread soaks up all of that tea and it makes it really sweet and juicy. Strong taste of almonds and it's a little bit thicker because of the egg yolk. Very nice. A little bit too sweet for me, but you know what? Very, very flavorful. Mm. It is a very old school environment. Plastic chairs on the street and it's actually mostly elderly people that come here and they're always popping in not every now and then to get their morning tea. It feels like I can taste history right here on the street. Okay. Bye bye. Very good. Perfect start of the day. It's so wonderful to walk around here in Chai. Most places, uh, most alleyways are completely silent. And um, yeah, great start of the day. Now we're gonna make ourselves to another place which serves a very traditional Taiwanese breakfast. And I can't wait because that tea didn't satisfy me enough. So let's go take the bike and yeah. Okay, so we just hit the second spot here for the breakfast tour and uh, basically they're serving something very traditional, something that people love to eat for breakfast, which is the Xiaobin. And they're actually making it right on the street here with a huge hot charcoal grill and they are slowly cooking that until it becomes golden and crisp. So I've been recording for roughly 20 minutes and the people just keep pouring in. The line just keeps piling up. They're not buying one or two, they're buying tens or twenty. Uh, that's why it keeps piling up. Uh, that's why there is a long wait here, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So let's go and try it out. It's really, really hot. You can see on top here we have uh, some sesame seeds spread out uh, nicely and uh, this really crispy bread. The smell coming out here from the green onions is really nice. Okay, let's give it a try. Big bite. Mm. That's actually really good. Very crispy bread and um, soft inside and some flavors from the green onions. This really nice outside comes from the grill here. It wouldn't be possible to have that nice outside without this grill. Wow, the bread. 
it is so nice. So traditionally speaking, you will also have a soy milk with this. Because this one is a little bit dry and to moisten it up a little bit, you have to have your soy milk. So I'm gonna try this together. Mm. Actually, I'm not even a big fan of soy milk, but this works together really nicely. Yeah, that's it. That's really good. Thank you. They've been doing it for 45 years, so they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, it's a very nice snack, very simple, but still very good. Now we're ready to move on and hope that some places are still open. down in one of the most famous breakfast areas and place in Chai. What they're serving here is a very traditional sort of uh, Taiwanese breakfast, which is of course the uh, danbing, a parsnip cake, and we have ordered some gyoza as well. The place is called uh, Ao -e Dumplings. Ao -e. Ao -e. <laughs> That's such a funny name. I can just see how delicious this looks. They have stuffed it with a meat that they have also cooked here themselves and they have made it super crispy, uh, really, really soft and juicy. God damn, this looks so good. I can't wait. <laughs> the dog is really hungry too. The dog is not getting anything on my food. Here we go. Damn. It's hard to describe. It is really flavorful. Extremely soft dough, crispy on the outside, and the meat is really flavorful. I like this a lot. Wow. Mm. Okay, this is a very traditional Taiwanese breakfast uh, thing. Everyone eats this in the morning. It's very common. It's a parsnip cake, and they're making it themselves here. And you can see the top here is really, really nice, nice color. And uh, I've also poured some of their homemade sauce, which is a little bit salty. Uh, yeah, looks great. And it's, I can feel how bouncy this is. This is gonna be really juicy. I already know parsnip cake is not my favorite, but I mean, this one looks really nice. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Wow. There's meat inside as well. Okay, this one caught me off guard. This is really nice. I changed my mind. Mm, really soft inside, very juicy. Slight crisp outside. I like it, it's nice. Okay, it's time for the dumpling right now. We have their homemade gyoza, and they're just stuffed with pork and vegetables. I believe maybe green onions in here. It's gonna be interesting to see this, uh, what's, what we can find in here. a very clear vegetable flavor in there. We have uh, been laying out for a little bit too long, so the crispiness is not completely perfect, but there's still very nice consistency. This is what you come for, guys. Absolutely amazing pancake. Unbelievable. I was pleasantly surprised by this, especially the pancake. And it is run by a uh, mother and his, uh, her son. So the third place I had in mind, they just hang up the sign for sold out. But fortunately they have saved one for me. Basically they have a bunch of different variants that you can choose from. But now they only had one left for me. So I think this one is uh, glutinous purple rice, sticky rice. And they stuff it with vegetables and some ham in this one I believe. And uh, let's open it up and see what we can find. It was much larger than I thought. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, oh wow, it's super sticky as well. I'm just gonna divide this just to find out what we can find inside here. Wow, this is super sticky. Oh my god, it's, it's gonna fall apart. It's gonna fall apart. 
I just completely messed up my hands here. It was super, super sticky. I was just gonna show you guys what was inside here, but I'm gonna take a bite and maybe we'll find out. Mm. Wow, there is a lot of things in here. I think it's cabbage in here, and then you have a slice of ham, and there's some uh, deep fried bread here, and on the outside, this really sticky uh, rice, glutinous rice. You know, sticky rice will fill you up real nice. Mm. Mm. I like the crunchy vegetables and the meat here, really nice. It's a little bit unfortunate that I didn't go here early enough because uh, you will get to see how they cook it, things that they're putting inside and how they're rolling up this uh, sticky rice ball. It's too much food uh, for a long breakfast like this. Okay, so this video was recorded yesterday and um, we kind of got all what we wanted to get in the video, but the thing is the, the places they open around 5 and then they close around 10, so it's kind of like a stressed video. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Really enjoyed the third place. Uh, there's a lot of good food there and I can't even describe how that pancake was for me. Thank you so much for sticking around with me today and uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, like and tell me what you think of the video. And stay tuned for the second episode of Chai. We're gonna eat the huge fish head, which was also on Netflix. It's gonna be such a great time, I feel it already. And as always guys, stay hungry.